My name is Brian McGorry. I'm a neurologist here at Duke Medical Center, and I'm with the Department of Neurology and the Duke Eye Center. So I'm both a vascular and a general neurologist. So I see patients with all manner of uh, problems with uh, their brain, be it problems with the blood vessels in their brain and neck. But I also see patients with uh, other problems to do with their brain, such as seizures, uh, disorders of movement, disorders of muscle, uh, disorders of their peripheral nerves, um, and so on. And one particular interest of mine is in the interaction of the eye uh, and the brain. If someone has an eye stroke, they can be going about their normal business and feel entirely fine, but suddenly lose vision uh, in one eye. And that visual loss is characteristically described as a visual darkening, not a whitening of vision. And typically it's entirely painless. So it'll come on just out of nowhere like a, a curtain falling down over your eye, pain-free, um, and that can actually be uh, the signs of an eye stroke. Well, if patients ever develop symptoms uh, of an eye stroke, so sudden painless visual darkening in one eye, it's really important that they call 911 and go to the nearest emergency department as quick as possible. That's what I find so gratifying about de uh, dealing with eye strokes is that it's actually a treatable problem, but it's a treatable problem only if multiple specialists come together to treat that problem and only if uh, a person is brought into the, the hospital quickly enough to treat it. We have a particular therapy called hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which is uh, available only at a select few centres in the United States. One of the best things about Duke is that this is actually available 24-7 and we receive referrals from all over the southeastern United States. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is one of the things that we can use to treat um, eye strokes as they're happening um, and that's one of the particularly good things about uh, Duke and how we operate. And one of the new initiatives that we have here at Duke Medical Centre is called the Duke Eye Stroke Clinic which is for patients who have received their treatment in the hospital and are then being followed up uh, afterwards. And at that clinic, uh, the person is seen by both a neurologist, which is myself, and an ophthalmologist, which is uh, Dr. Chantal Boivier, who's one of the neuro-ophthalmology specialists here. At our clinic, you can expect to have two separate appointments with two separate practitioners, but back to back uh, and just in adjacent rooms. And what we hope to do is to bring um, uh, multidisciplinary expertise to bear on that person's problem. Um, we pride ourselves, both of us, on trying to be as empathic as possible and listening as possible. I think that one of the biggest roles we can have in the outpatient clinic is, uh, is really listening to people and understanding their unique context and unique story to what's bringing them in uh, that particular day. So that's something that I think both of us pride ourselves on uh, a great deal. But beyond that, a um, uh, person coming to our clinic should expect to receive you know, a very high standard of care. Um, and expect to receive uh, perhaps subspecialty referrals or further subspecialty referrals if that's necessary for things like, for example, low vision rehabilitation, uh, occupational therapy, or potentially advanced diagnostic testing.